you able to hear me okay? Yeah. Well, I don't really want to hear you. I don't know why I agreed to do this. <laughs> this is my first vlog. <laughs> so bear well, with me. It, it's your first moto vlog. Yes. I'll find this funny at work. Somebody was actually calling me sir on the phone. <laughs> They're like, ma'am, oh, sir. Now well, you had it right the first time. Yeah. Mrs. RT Commuter has finally got all of her gear together. I'll put a picture up on the screen here right about now to show you in her sexy riding gear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what changed her mind about riding was the fact that she thought that she was going to have to wear the Michelin Man outfit like I wear. <laughs> <laughs> and then she saw that you can, there's sexy stuff for women. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I can actually look good while I'm riding. Yeah, you don't have to look like a crash chest dummy. You can. <laughs> Not that looks are important, people. Uh, right, uh huh. They're not, they're not that important, but they're, they're still up there in the, uh, on the food chain. That's the joke I keep saying to her, is like, yeah, you wanted to, you wanted to marry Hugh Jackman, but you got Jack Black. <laughs> Very funny. Are you getting a lot of wind noise in your helmet? Or not too bad? Uh, so, but it's all right, I guess. Yeah, my bulbous head is blocking most of the wind for you. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, honey. <laughs> See, she's supposed to be like, no, you don't have a big bulbous head. But no, most of the time she's like, yep, that's right. Your fat head is blocking the wind for me. Thank you. You don't have a fat head. <laughs> well, considering that Schubert double extra large helmet fit yesterday, the one that we didn't get, we're going to get in front of this white SUV. Okay. I think the Mustang was going to try to do the same thing. Too slow! <laughs> uh, we're going to get in front of the Ford. See how I'm able to flow through traffic like this? Wouldn't be yeah. able to do it in the truck. Well, that much is obvious. Not the same acceleration. Plus this thing is like <laughs> one-eighth to one-tenth the size. Beautiful sunset. What's that? Beautiful sunset. Oh yeah. We're gonna go the road less traveled. Okay. Jesus, thank you. Appreciate it. That would not have been good. The first dual vlog with you and we get almost run down by a tractor trailer. Yeah, that would not have been fun. Uh, that's, yeah, that's an understatement. Honestly, guys, my hope is that she starts enjoying riding so much she doesn't want to stare at the back of my head anymore and wants to ride a motorcycle herself. Well, it's, it's a miracle that he's got me doing a moto vlog with him on the bike, so that's a good first step. <laughs> See, miracles do happen. That's right. I'm sure um, a certain gentleman from uh, Morton's BMW will have something to say. <laughs> Something about a scooter, maybe? Yeah, of course. You know who you are. <laughs> Called out on the carpet, but not by name. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going. Whee! <laughs> Hold on tight. Okay. <laughs> she probably thought for a second she was going to slide off the back. I felt the hands start gripping me tighter. Yeah, you got to be careful there, buddy. 
I always know I'm in trouble when she uses my full name or I hear buddy. <laughs> you got precious cargo on this bike, okay? Yeah. And this I don't right mean, here. <laughs> I don't mean the GoPro. <laughs> if I have to tell you we got some problems. <laughs> Of course, it's you, honey. Of course. I love pushing her buttons, can you tell? Just to get a reaction out of me. You should see her face when she gets mad. It gets so cute. I just... <laughs> she gets even more pissed off because she's mad at me and I start, like, smiling, grinning ear to ear because she's looking so cute. It's like... <laughs> but see, I get so mad because you're not taking me seriously because you keep doing it and I tell you I'm getting mad and I don't like it and you keep doing it. Well, that's like the whole scaring thing. Yeah. There, I like scaring her when, like, if she's walking around the house, I'll, like, hide and jump out and scare her. Well, she's gotten me a couple really good times, so I don't know what the problem is. Mm hmm She can always get me back, and she has gotten me back. Before we got married, she was still living at her parents' house, so we had gone out one night, and when we got back to her, her parents' house, we both had to use the facilities. Well, they've got a, they have a bathroom upstairs and one downstairs in the basement, a little powder room downstairs. So I went to the one downstairs. Well, I get done doing what I got to do, and I realize there's no toilet paper. Mm, I'm like, yeah, crap. that's that's always a dilemma. I said, crap. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So I hike, I hike my pants up. <laughs> to somewhat around my waist. And he's trepidatiously <laughs> looking for the toilet paper. I'm trying to sneak around the basement to look for the toilet paper supply. Well, <laughs> I, I sneak around and I'm starting to reach for the door, which is like three feet from the bathroom door to the pantry where the toilet paper was held. And no sooner do I reach for the door. So one hand is occupied holding the pants. The other hand is reaching for the doorknob. I hear going somewhere. <laughs> uh, I I literally screamed like a little girl and dropped my pants. <laughs> yeah, Thankfully, that was a good one. Thankfully, in a split second, I was able to camp, catch them and pull them back up. But <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. The look on her face was just when she realized what was going on. She just could not stop laughing. <laughs> it's like, man. <laughs> Yeah, I got you good. <laughs> I may not do it all the time, but when I do, I make them good. Yeah, it, it, hers are quality, not quantity. I mean, the best one that I ever had wasn't even on you. It was on your mom. Mm -hmm. I had come over, and her as I was coming in the front door, her mom had just gone out the back door for something. I think it was getting clothes off the clothesline or something. But... <laughs> So I'm like, okay, she doesn't know I'm here. So I crept down the hallway and I hid in her dad's office doorway, which is right by the bathroom door because I heard her mom say that she had to go to the restroom. <laughs> well, it's completely dark outside. So it's dark in the hallway, pitch black. She gets, I hear her walking down the hallway and I, I can kind of see a little bit of a shadow for her coming through into the hallway, into the doorway. And I just... <laughs> Her mom screamed so loud, I swear, she lit up the hallway. She turned so light. <laughs> yeah, she, 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 gets, she gets scared. We can get her pretty easily, usually. But that one was real good. <laughs> yeah. Well, until next time, friends, be blessed. And enjoy the ride. And maybe I'll see you later.